This week's movies, Drinking Buddies, The World's End, and The Grandmaster. Written and directed by Wong Kar Wai, The Grandmaster chronicles the life of a Wing Chun martial artist. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, However much history informs the movie, it is, at its most persuasive, about the triumph of a style that is not reducible to ravishing surfaces, but an expression of meaning. The fight scenes are by turns kinetic and sublime. Each has a different cadence, inflection, and purpose, and, like numbers in a musical, either drive the story or bring it to an enchanted standstill. Again and again in The Grandmaster, images become feelings, which become your bridge to a distant world. And we're back. Just like the five musketeers. Three musketeers, isn't it? Well, nobody knows how many there were, really, do they? You know that the three musketeers is a fiction, right? Written by Alexander Dumas. A lot of people are saying that about the Bible these days. What, that it was written by Alexander Dumas? Huh? Don't be daft, Steve. It was written by Jesus. Are we there, yeah? Let's do this! Directed by Edgar Wright, The World's End is about five British men who reprise a pub crawl they tried but failed to finish as teenagers. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, For almost half its running time, the film effectively masquerades as a rueful, fast-moving comedy of middle-aged resignation and rebellion. Hanging out with the group as it reignites old bonds and grudges is a mellow pleasure, and if it were all that The World's End had to offer, it would still be a lovely and poignant meditation on the passage of time and the drinking of beer. And then, the robots show up. I, he's with Jim right now. You left him with Jim? Yeah. <laughs> but um, if I introduce you, will you not be a head and don't call me names and don't say anything stupid or mean? And Drinking Buddies is about a man and a woman, both in committed relationships, who may or may not be falling in love with each other. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, in a different kind of movie, the hijinks would commence a crescendo of complications leading to a predictable happy ending. But the director, Joe Swanberg, leaves room for contingency, confusion, and randomness. Let's go swimming. The protagonists are obviously in love, and for a while the operative question seems not to be whether they will sleep together, but when. But as the emotional weather starts to shift, other questions intrude. Why should they? What if they do? What if they don't? The triumph of this movie is that the answers matter a lot even if they are ambiguous. I think he said something along the lines of, I think we should, uh, and he's not like a football player, so this is a sure. weird thing for him to say. I think we should take a knee on this romance What stuff. does that mean? That is so <laughs> I lame. actually had to ask somebody, I was like, Just, is take a knee a good thing? No. And they're like, no. no. <laughs>